This is a part of the Malik's Minute lore that has lived in my head for over a decade. As we've told more and more stories in the Malik's Minute universe, uh, Snufflefungus's lab has gotten bigger. This is not a small operation. It's gotten more elaborate. Whoa! It has this enormous outsized uh, influence on the character of Snufflefungus and what he can accomplish uh, when he puts his mind to it. I am out of town on business right now uh, for my primary employer. Remember, uh, my main job is not Mark Bros Entertainment. So if you want to change that, you can help us out by joining us on Patreon. But that is not going to stop me from working on the Malik's Minute. This is Snufflefungus's lab. Uh, it's pretty empty right now, but the idea is I want to be able to line up all the cameras so that the live action matches with the environment. I'm going to build the environment around the shots. I have a ton of stuff that's going to go in here. This idea of Snufflefungus's lab just got bigger and bigger and bigger until the stakes felt really high for how to portray Snufflefungus's lab on the screen. This is going to be the first time that we actually see inside Snuffy's lab. But when you look through the camera lens, it looks like the live action stuff is perfectly lined up. It looks pretty convincing once it's in motion, even though it's really just like a flat card in here. So you can see that it kind of breaks the illusion if you swivel it around, but it's okay because we will only ever see it from this angle. This scene will have a ton of different shots inside of Snufflefungus's lab. Some of them have live action, some of them are only CGI. So I have to line everything up and get the cameras uh, organized so that the footage matches with the CGI environment. And then I'm just gonna fill the CGI environment with uh, different lab stuff. I actually went to my dad's house. We spent some time working together to uh, get a bunch of his old equipment. He has a bunch of Digital Equipment Corporation uh, computers and terminals and just items from that era of mini computers. Uh, we took uh, just an enormous number of photographs. Uh, I did a bunch of photo scans with my iPhone to capture 3D models of some of these items. It's, it was a long time working on the design of some of these different items. Uh, you can see a bunch of Peter's original illustrations from the Malik's Minute of different items that have shown up over the course of the show. Uh, Susie helped out by bringing to life uh, the hot dog machine that was uh, featured in an early Malik's Minute episode, but we never got to really see it. You still have some of these old inventions? All in all, I'm so happy with how this turned out, um, given that uh, before this, it really just existed in my my head and it was very difficult to communicate after lots and lots of work over the course of months um, finally able to show it off oh no just great the scene in Snufflefungus's lab is a pivotal moment in the history of the Malik's Minute we are showing the world equipment he's working with and crazy inventions that he comes up with the investment that we put into really creating the aesthetic and building the foundation for Snuffy's lab, uh, this is going to pay dividends for years and years to come. Really?